The city said this is a case of paying some now or even more later. So after a 6-1 vote, the city is about to embark on its biggest public works project ever. Fixing pipes first buried when Bayshore looked like this and Ebor looked like that isn't free. Not even close. No, this is a huge deal. It's a, it's a historic vote. For $2.9 billion, the city will replace a quarter of their 2,200 miles of pipes over the next 20 years. To stop the constant flow of main breaks, average monthly bills will rise from about $41 to $46 by next year and 3% thereafter. By 2026, bills will cost $80. Bakari Brown of East Tampa isn't happy about that and was the only resident to address council tonight. Once they see it really kick into effect as the years go on, they'll, they'll realize the impact that it's actually having in their pockets. And it'll mean more to them then. They'll be more outraged, but at that point, it'll be too late. To win council's votes, Mayor Jane Castor dropped a $300 million project to transform sewer water into drinkable water. She also called for a payment assistance plan for those who make 30% of the median income to include seniors and the disabled. That means instead of 6,900, 29,000 will qualify. There is no good time to raise any rate. It's very difficult to do these things, but that's got what we got elected for. Some councilors were worried about committing to such an expensive plan for so long. That's what's sort of blowing my mind. But the city insisted that with 2,500 main breaks and 1,000 cave-ins in just two years, it's no longer worth it to pay $20 million a year to fix pipes that are 100 years old. We have done our best to spread out uh, the pain, if you will, um, over uh, time. Now, you heard me mention that payment assistance plan. The city came into this with a 30% idea of having the 30% of the median income qualify for that. Now, city council has expanded that to anybody who qualifies with a 50% of a median income. So they hope that'll help more people pay for this. Uh, the rate increases take effect in November, Mark.